wings and what does it mean when you read about wings in the Bible? Both Old and Test New Testament, same issue. We hear on the first Exodus and we hear on the second Exodus. Second Exodus, we have the, the issue from Revelation 12 that he's going to bring us on wings of an eagle, <clears throat> of a great eagle. And we hear the Messiah say, you know, I'm going to gather you like a hen, a hen gathers chicks and puts them under their wing. And we think of a very simple thing. Oh, well, he's protecting us. And yes, they're protecting us. Let's think beyond that. What else does it mean? It means you're under the throne room. The throne is carried by the four living creatures who have those wings. And so when you're carried on the wings of a great eagle, that throne room is over you. They're carrying you along. And so that great eagle is because the throne room is over top of us on an exodus, on both exodus. You know, when it says your shoes don't wear out and, you, you know, the weary are able to move without a problem. Sure. <laughs> Look what's there. So uh, it's, it's a great prophecy, but it's telling you the throne room is over top of it. And we see that in Isaiah 4, you know, where he does the same thing. He puts the, the uh, fire by day, and sorry, the fire by night and the cloud by day. Again, it, that movement is because... He's there at the Ark of Covenant. The throne is what's moving us. Um, and so, instead of thinking, how are we on wings? Because we're where the throne is. And so when we hear that in the Bible, we think, oh, it's, it's being figurative on wings of an eagle. How can we do that? No, it's being literal. You're actually underneath the throne room at that point in time. It's a literal statement. I've got you there and you're under angel's wings.